Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabat if Allah the question was asked Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh What specific things should I do daily in Ramadan? Should I learn the Arabic language in order to read the Quran? Should I just focus on the Quran memorization? Should I learn how to clean my heart? from diseases and soften my heart? Should I focus on the 40 hadith of Anawawi? I'm overwhelmed on exactly what to do in Ramadan. I want to make the most out of it, but not sure what daily steps to do for a beginner of seeking knowledge and not really knowing the Arabic language. Jazakallah khairan. Wa iyyakum. So first and foremost, as many of our mashayikh show, and I can specially relate to uh, or relay some of the experience I had with Sheikh Ibrahim Raheli in Medina, uh, because during Ramadans I would, you know, because some of the durus that we had with the Sheikh were c very consistent. So I spent a lot of time seeking knowledge with the Sheikh Wulilah Alhamd, and what he used to do during Ramadan. Uh, he would have dorat. So I notice uh, you'll find a lot of the Mashaykh, they'll increase their lessons even on Ramadan. Because, and he would be asked this very question too, you know, should I seek knowledge or focus on the Quran? And he would say, basically, do both. You know, so manage your time to where you can continually uh, be consistent. And often what we would do during Ramadan would be Durus in Riyadh Salihin. And so those are a lot of hadith that have to do with the heart anyway and other issues of akhlaq and you know manners. And what I recall some of the last Durus that we had with the Riyadh Salihin, he would make a Dora a special time after that Dars, after we'd go through the Ahadith in the chapter to talk about a subject and he would talk about like for example the I remember it was several days in a row he talked about the adab of su'al you know the the manners of asking questions and then he talked about all the different angles of how to ask questions you know how different ulama have different time schedules and are some are very open you know and, and don't mind you can come you know to their house and you know, and some scholars are much more withdrawn and they can be bothered easy. So that he, he just talked about all kind of nice issues related to that. Getting back to your point or your issue, I would say, depending on your time and your schedule, I would say it's very important to be balanced to try to get as much Quran, you know, because it's it's Shara Ramadan is the month that the Quran was revealed, as we mentioned. And uh, Imam Ahmed, he, he mentioned that, and he would, uh, you know, emphasize, you know, stop his, his durus in hadith and in other sciences and uh, uh, focus on the Quran. And then it was related about uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, Wasiya that he would, you know, um, you know, uh, complete the Quran, you know, I'm not sure, you know, like many, many times during the holy month of Ramadan. And so the point being is definitely focusing a lot of attention on the Quran. If you can devote some time to your Arabic lessons too, because it doesn't, it doesn't have the point, it doesn't have to be ta'arud. It doesn't have to contradict. They can complement. It just means maybe you give precedence to some Act, uh, some uh, issues of study over others. For example, if you are very busy and you can't even devote an hour a day to anything, then take 20 minutes every day and focus with the Quran. And the other, and take another 10 minutes to focus on those hadith and those uh, texts which will help you uh, cleanse the heart because you also want to be focused on heart purification and softening the heart. Uh, 
and doing as many good acts of ibadah. If you have wealth, spend it in the cause of Allah. If you uh, have knowledge, share it with people uh, and your family first and foremost and those around you. And, uh, you know, whatever you have to give and offer, do so as much as possible. And try to stay away from some of those activities. If you're a person who watches movies, for example, stay away from the movies during the holy month of Ramadan at least. You know, distance yourself. So that way you can free up some of your time and you can really focus on gaining the benefit of softening the heart and purifying the heart. Likewise, uh, you know, doing acts of goodness and reading. And Riyadh al-Salihin is an excellent place to start. To read Riyadh al-Salihin and those heart, those, you know, those books and those messages, those ahadith of raqa'iq, of uh, heart softeners and Sahih Muslim and, you know, and all the books of hadith. So that way you can see in accordance with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then also the books of the Salaf. So just try to integrate as much as you, you can in accordance with your time, schedule, and your, your you know, what you can do. Some people are very busy, they can't even pray Tarawih uh, because of their work schedule. You know, whatever, everyone's situation is different. So just try to be, I find for me, I, I'm better off balance. I don't look at what other people are doing. They're going to memorize, they're going to memorize or they're going to, you know, uh, complete the Quran in so many days or what have you. I don't look at that. I look at what I have to do and what I can do and with my lifestyle. And so with that being the case, you know, I just try to keep for myself a balance and I will continue to teach. But I will not probably teach any books. You know, I will focus on heart softeners. You know, maybe some chapters related to heart softening. Maybe some fawaid here and there from the ulama and the salaf. And some tafsir. And some other things. Things related to that are going to help us really focus on uh, Ramadan. And also, a last point is do not get involved with all the fitna out there. Because we know there's so much fitna. There's fitna from external communities like the Yahud slaughtering our brothers and sisters in Palestine. And, you know, all the innocents there. And, and you know, with all the fitna and conflict there. Likewise, what's going on in, in many places of conflict. Try to focus if you're going to, if you think you can help them, you can help them with supplication. Lots of supplication. And focusing on the minhaj of the salaf. And likewise, you can, uh, you know, do not bother yourself with the latest uh, fitna that's going on. You know, sheikh so-and-so, these group of mashayikh said about this sheikh, or they disagree on this issue. Let me get involved in this and let me spread this. No, involve yourself in that which is going to soften your heart. Because that's what's going to help you in this life as well as the hereafter. And a lot of times, that other stuff will distance you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be careful. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.